you guys it is finally happening i'm in the car i'm going to take off to irvine right now because your girl is finally getting boobies i am so freaking excited like i'm not even kidding i have dreamt about this since i was 14 years old i'm gonna let you guys in on one of my biggest secrets that i never told anyone in eighth grade everyone was getting boobs except me I would literally wear two bras like I had boobs and then you know it got too difficult trying to be sneaky and change in the locker room so I eventually stopped but that's how much I wanted boobs so the fact that I'm finally getting them I'm super excited so I'm gonna vlog every single day so today I'm just driving up there tomorrow's my actual surgery and then we're going to just take it day by day, vlog and see how I feel. So I'm super excited to take you guys along my breast augmentation journey. So it's 3.30 right now. I'm going to hit the road, get to my hotel room, and then my boobies done. So I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow. I probably will. I'll probably just get to the hotel and like knock out. So. All right, you guys. So I just got to the hotel and I took my muscle relaxer and then I put on this like little nausea patch that they told me to put on the night before and i'm kind of freaking out i'm not even gonna lie like it's crazy like tomorrow i'm literally going to have boobs in my mind and i'm lightweight not ready for the pain but it is what it is i guess oh so i am just going to relax tonight i had my sister you guys know i cannot braid hair so before i left i had my sister do some braids as these um do some braids on me because i didn't want my hair like in my face and stuff so this is going to be the hair I'm rocking for the next couple days until I probably have my friend Rosa come over and wash my hair for me, um, like, once I get home. So I'm going to try to get some sleep, which I probably won't, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday. It is surgery day. I just hopped out of the shower, and I'm not going to lie. I'm freaking the hell out. Like, I don't even know. It's like, I'm not scared of the actual surgery. It's more of the recovery part that I'm like... Should I really do this? Like, I'm really going to put myself through hella pain. But I think it's going to be worth it because I've dreamt of these boobies. I've said that like a million times, but I've dreamt of boobs. So my surgery is at 2. I have to be there at 1. Right now it's about 10.30. I honestly don't know what time it is. I think it's 10.30. It's 10.11. So I have to take my muscle relaxer. I have this like nausea patch on. I don't know if you can see it. Um, So that's going to help with na nausea. Nausea, whatever, how however you say it. Um, so yeah, literally, I'm freaking out. Ah! That's like literally how I feel on the inside, but 20 times louder. So I'm kind of just going to chill until one o'clock. Oh my God, by the way, I have to fast. I'm so hungry. I can only have like a sip of water when I take my muscle relaxant pills. And besides that, no water, no food until after my surgery. Um, so I don't even know if I'll be hungry if I'm, I'm just going to want to sleep. So I don't know. I'm just going to see how it goes, I guess. So I'm gonna try to film when I'm in the process of like before the surgery, I guess, and then I'm for sure gonna film after. So wish me luck. All right, guys, so we are here at the surgery location. I have about 20 minutes. We came super early because I'm trying to be crazy punctual with this. Um, the amazing Robert is being so kind and he brought me and he's gonna take care of me. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. <laughs> Of course. Um, so I'm just waiting. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm having a motherfucking panic attack. If you watch TikTok, you understand, but I'm trying to just remind myself like it's temporary pain. Like two weeks are gonna fly by super fast and it'll be worth it. So I'm gonna sit here till one, then go inside and hopefully I can talk to you guys a little bit before I go into surgery. Okay you guys, so I'm about to head into surgery. I have like my IV hooked up and everything. I almost threw up. Literally, my nurse had to give me a tray. I don't know what it was about, but my nerves are going crazy. So I'll talk to you guys when the surgery is over. Wish me luck. Okay, guys, I just got out of surgery. I'm eating some Panera soup and a little grilled cheese. I'm in so much pain. Well, I was in so much pain. They gave me Percocet, and I feel like it's barely kicking. Um, I don't even know. I'm, like, all drugged up, but... This is literally 30 minutes post-op and I feel so nauseous. Like I want to throw up. They give me a little thingy in case I throw up. So yeah, I'm going to literally just take medications and rest because your girl is hurting right now. So I'll talk to you guys a little later. What's up guys? So it is still Tuesday. Um, I actually feel really good. 
minus my crazy ass hair, me and Bobby just got some pizza and some spinach and artichoke dip. Um, I took my first peel of the Norco and then they gave me antibiotic as well. And besides like a little bit of like soreness and like a tight feeling, um, it's honestly going pretty well. I feel like right when I got out of surgery, I was like in a lot of pain, but now it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to jinx myself and say that it's not that bad and then wake up tomorrow and it'd be hella bad. But for now, not too bad, not too bad at all. So I go in tomorrow for my post-op at 11.30 and I get to see the girls, so I'm so excited. So I will keep you guys posted on what's going on. Is that good? Was that good? Mm -hmm. He was licking them fingers like it was schmacking. Schmacking. <laughs> good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday morning. Um, I'm just packing up the hotel room right now, and then I'm gonna head to my post-op appointment. I'm super excited because I have not seen the girls. I have not taken off this bra, so today is like the reveal. Um, but I'm not really in pain. There's like a little discomfort, like in tightness. It just basically feels like I'm really sore. Um, I've been on top of my medications, and I think that has definitely helped a lot. Um, but so far, so good. I don't want to jinx it because maybe I'll wake up and I'll be like in the most excruciating pain on planet Earth. So, yeah, I'm super excited. I'll talk to you guys when I leave my post op and let you guys know how everything went. I forever have moisturizer on my face that I don't know how to rub in. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish packing, go get a pitaya bowl from Jamba Juice because I'm so hungry and I haven't really wanted to eat anything heavy. Like yesterday, we had the pizza and I ate like two slices and I was just like, I had no appetite. So, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. What is today? Today's Wednesday, I just got home. Um, Irvine was about a five hour drive, but I honestly feel fine, you guys. I know I'm on medications. It's been a full 24 hours since I have had my surgery and I feel fine. The medications definitely are helping with the pain control because all I feel is like soreness and like tightness and like the soreness isn't really that intense. It's just like if I lift my arms too high, it's just like really tight right here, um, but nothing too crazy. Like I genuinely thought I was gonna be like dying the first three days. Everyone was like, dude, it's gonna be the worst pain ever. And I'm super thankful that it's not that's not really the case. The only thing that I am struggling with is sleeping because I sleep on my side or like literally flat on my stomach. So to have to sleep like elevated and straight, I am not getting good sleep. So that's the one thing I'm like missing is sleep. Like I feel so exhausted. Um, but I have a few things that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so they sent me home. I don't want to show you guys the girls yet, but they sent me home in this like zip bra thing and i didn't want to have to wear the same one for two weeks so someone recommended these little fruit of the loom they have no underwire and they button here in the front and they feel extremely comfy so i got a black one and a nude one just so i can switch them out and not have to wear the same ones over and over and then i got this cropped zip hoodie and this same cropped hoodie in black from ootd fash just so I can have stuff to like lounge around the house in. And then I also got this nightgown. I sized up to a medium because I wanted it to like feel just like the comfiest little nightgown and it buttons all the way down. Super cute and it's super soft. I might order another one. Um, and then I also got this over the shoulder oversized like little sweater thing from OOTD Fash. Um, and I, oh, one thing that someone recommended to me and it was like a lifesaver was a neck pillow. You guys can see it. It's like right there. But I would highly recommend that. It made the drive home so easy. Like usually, you know, when you like fall asleep and you wake up and your neck's like killing you, that neck pillow saved my life. And then when I was laying in bed at the hotel, I would put it on my back. So then my back had support, like, and then I would like pile up the pillows behind me. So if you're going to get one thing, you absolutely need a neck pillow, especially if you're traveling for your breast augmentation. Like I had to drive five hours back and without that neck pillow, I think I would have been like 10 times more miserable. Um, I'm going to be answering a lot more questions. I think I'm going to do this as like a five day vlog. So this is technically day one. I'll probably do like a three or four day vlog, just depending on how I feel. But I'm going to give you guys tips along the way. Um, my tips right now, day one, stay on track with your medicine. Make sure you have clothes that are easy to get in and out of. If you know how to braid, I would get your hair out of your face. My hair looks so crazy because my sister did it for me before I left because I don't know how to braid. So I've been sleeping on it and it just looks like a mess. But thankfully, she's coming over tomorrow too fix this mane so I don't look like a psychopath forever um yeah and I would say just prepare for the worst because since I prepared for the worst and expected it to be so painful like now that I know it's not as painful or maybe my tolerance is just a little higher 
Um, I'm just super thankful for what I am experiencing because again, it's not that bad, but I am going to shower. You guys know how tomorrow goes and I will give you guys more tips, tips that were shared with me that I found super useful, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys have an amazing night. I'm going to go jump at the shower and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, you guys, I look so crazy, but this has to be said because I have to be so real with you guys. I literally just took a shower and I had a mental breakdown because my boobs look so crazy. They are sitting so high. Like I wanted to throw up with how much I hate them right now. Like this is me being so honest. If you're going to get your boobs done, they are going to look so crazy. I don't know what, when this ends, obviously everyone's telling me they're going to drop, but my boob is literally like up here and I literally just wanted to die when I saw my boobs. They look so ugly right now. I know they're gonna get better and I know they're gonna drop, but I'm just warning you, they literally look like square pecs. I just, I can't even explain how ugly they were, but I literally had a mental breakdown. So I just wanna prepare you guys for that because everyone told me they're gonna look crazy, but I didn't really comprehend how crazy they're gonna look like. They just literally look like square boxes on your chest and it's just not okay. So now I'm gonna go to bed and I'm literally not looking at myself naked for the next two weeks. So just wanted to warn you guys what's up you guys good morning so it is what's today thursday so it's i had my surgery tuesday so it's day like two and a half i guess um i told you guys last night how i literally like cried because my boobs looked so crazy but literally all my friends who have um their boobs done sent me pictures of what theirs looked like at the beginning it made me feel so much better because theirs are like dropped and beautiful now so i just have to trust the process and not judge them right now which like obviously i knew but when it's like on your body like last night i looked in the mirror and i was like what did i do to myself like my boobs were not that bad like why did i destroy my boobs um but i know they're gonna drop so i just need to take a chill pill but i am so freaking bored my sister marissa came she's she went to go get me food right now but she like rebraided my hair so i don't look that crazy but last night was the first night that i felt like i got decent sleep i got up once to pee and then i got up again at like five to take some more um like medicine because and, and like I don't know I just felt like really tight um but I'm so bored right now like the fact that I have to do this for like 12 more days blows my mind I'm usually always doing something I'm always on the go um I'm like I'm like on Instagram right now watching everyone post their workout videos or looking at my old workout videos and I'm just like I just want to go lift like I think the worst part about this surgery is obviously like your boobs looking crazy but not being able to be active like i can only watch so much netflix my doctor does want me to go on walks um every day for like 10 to 15 minutes but besides that i'm literally sitting here and i just don't know what to do with myself so the pain level today is like i would say like a four out of ten again i'm taking well i, I last time i took medicine was at 5 a.m and right now it's 11 30 so I put them in a little baggie so I didn't have to like use my strength and open the bottle. Um, but the paint isn't too bad. Like I can lift my arms and stuff. Um, I'd say four out of 10. Um, I'm hoping that the pain just starts going away more and more so I can do more activities like cook at least. Um, my sister went to go get me like this grilled chicken sandwich from this local little food place. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the update. Um, I'm going to tell you guys like sizing and all that stuff later on in the video. I am going to go on Instagram and ask you guys what questions you want to know specifically besides price, size, like if I went under the boob, like all that good stuff. So make sure you watch this video all the way through. But I did want to take you guys like along the journey of like how every day is. Um, I would say day one pain wise, like right when I got out of the surgery was the worst and I've kind of been just managing it and stuff. The sleeping sucks, especially if you're someone who sleeps on your side or your or your stomach. That's like the worst part. But I think my body was just so tired last night that I was like, you know what? We're going to sleep on our back and we're going to get good sleep. So I'm going to take some more pills, eat some lunch, and then probably just take like a quick nap. I'm watching Like a Boss right now. Like I literally haven't even started it. I'm going to start watching it right now. And then I'll probably go on a walk later and that's about it. So I will probably check in with you guys later tonight. Um, I plan on doing like a five day vlog. So this is technically like day two, day, day three. I don't know, but I'm not going to make it too, too long. I just want to take you guys through the first week basically. And then I'll do like an updated video in like a couple months when they're completely dropped and everything. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. What's up guys? So it is a Thursday night. Um, it's the end of day two and I honestly just slept a lot today. Um, 
I didn't really do much. I like put on shows and I couldn't even really watch them because I would just like fall asleep. I'm taking my medication right now every four hours. So it literally just knocks me out. But I feel so good. Like today was the first day that I actually got a lot of rest. So I'm super thankful for today. I just stayed in my room, stayed in bed, um, went on like a little walk around the house like inside the house like walked around the kitchen and stuff like that but other than that I like laid in bed all day today tomorrow I'm gonna get up and I'm going to try to um like hang out in the living room and just be like a little more alive but I definitely needed to catch up on sleep today so today was very much needed um the pain level right now I would say is like a four out of ten nothing too crazy like I can lift my arms like it's just like a lot of tightness they're just sitting really high um so yeah I nothing too crazy like I literally forgot I got my boobs done like I was like sitting here watching Netflix right now and I was like whoa like I literally got my boobs done that's so crazy um so yeah I'm gonna update you guys tomorrow on how everything's going what's up you guys so it is Saturday morning and I didn't vlog at all yesterday I literally just slept um my meds make me super sleepy and yesterday again the pain is not too bad um, I'm just feeling a lot of tightness, so I take the muscle relaxer more than I take the Norco, and the muscle relaxer makes me sleep, so I literally just slept all day yesterday. Um, I did take another shower, and I refused to look at my boobs because they looked so crazy, and I just can't stand how they look right now, so I literally just like took the quickest body shower and then got out and slept. So today is day four since I've had surgery, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to stop the medications tomorrow. I don't really think I need them anymore, so I'm just going to finish up resting today, and then tomorrow I'm going to try to ease back into normal life in a way. I don't know, but I have my two-week post-op on March 25th or 24th, I believe. So I'm super excited for them to like take out the stitches and everything. I think I have like one big stitch on the under boob. Yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick little update. What is up you guys? So it is day five and it's nighttime right now. It's about nine o'clock and I slept all day, but I have to tell you guys about last night. So last night I was like, you know what? It's day four. I think I'm fine. I don't think I need my pain meds anymore. So I just took a muscle relaxer like at seven o'clock and then I went to bed. I woke up at six in the morning in the most excruciating pain like it was like my whole chest was just like so tight like i feel like my skin was gonna burst so my tip to you is do not come off the meds within the first week i mean if you feel fine then yeah but remember how i was like oh i'm not in pain i'm not in pain yeah because of the pain meds so definitely stick to your pain meds um that was like the worst decision um so i'm back on pain meds right now and I think I'm gonna finish them until at least Tuesday. So it'll be one full week on pain meds because that was awful. Waking up like that, like I couldn't even sit up. I was like, oh my God, my freaking skin felt like it was gonna burst open. So that was not a good time, but I just took a shower and I'm gonna just watch a movie right now. Honestly, this has been the most inactive week of my entire life. Like, I don't think I've ever just chilled like this like I literally sleep wake up eat walk around for like a couple minutes use the restroom and then go back to sleep so it's not fun but I will say when I get back to the gym I'm gonna appreciate it more than life um you guys are going to live in these little robes I ordered another one I love this color it's so cute um, I'm going to for sure link that these down below because they are so easy to maneuver in um, obviously to use the restroom you just lift it um and it's just it's just super comfy and it's like thinner so it's not like it's very breathable it's not gonna have you like sweating or anything um but i just wanted to update you guys day five i am definitely questioning why i did this i'm like was this necessary like everyone told me i was gonna do that too like dude your first week you're gonna be like why did i do this like my boobs were not that bad i could have lived life with them but I guess it'll be worth it hopefully when all this craziness and all the swelling and pain and laying in bed is over with but just wanted to update you guys really quick tomorrow is day six oh so I'm going to try to be a little bit more mobile 
Um, I have not been sticking to a diet at all. I have just been waking up and eating whatever, whenever, like whatever is there I eat because I just like want to get food in, take my meds and go back to sleep. So um, if you are trying to stick to a diet while you're doing this, I would say meal prep your meals ahead of time because you're not going to have any strength or desire to cook. Um, so I've been just eating whatever people bring me, whatever's in the house, like stuff like that. So yeah. Also, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about it later, but stool softener is going to be your best friend. I literally look like I'm like two months pregnant right now because of how bloated I am. I'm so thankful anytime I poop. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys all the tips and stuff when I feel like a little better. I literally just want to go lay down already. What's up, you guys? It is day six. It is Monday. It's almost a full week since I've had surgery and... Today's the first day that I actually took my took my medicine and I have a little bit of energy. I'm like I didn't sleep right away, which is kind of nice because I'm so oversleeping. Um, I still feel extremely tight. Like I am at the point now where I'm questioning if I went too big. Um, but everyone keeps telling me do not judge how they look right now because they're swollen and they need to drop. So. I'm honestly trying not to like freak out on the inside even though I lightweight am. By the way, I have like a pimple that's bigger than like Jupiter on my face. Like it came out of nowhere. But yeah, I'm, I've am i literally been laying here. Um, I go between my room and the living room. I have plans this Sunday to go with my best friend Roxy. She's getting married and she's going wedding dress shopping Sunday. So that's in five, six days. So I'm hoping that I'm okay to go by then. It'll basically be two weeks this coming up Sunday. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm honestly just ready to get out of the house. I'm sick of laying here. I, You do not appreciate everyday life things until you have to sit here and lay around and stuff. So yeah, I look a hot mess this entire vlog. So please do not judge me like... This entire vlog was basically done without makeup, so yeah. Hope you guys do not judge the craziness. But um, besides the tightness and the tiredness, it's not that bad. I think the boredom is what's killing me the most. Literally just so bored. And today in Merced, it freaking hailed. It was like freezing cold. I literally have like three blankets piled on top of me right now, but... But yeah, so I just wanted to check in with you guys. Day six, still tired, still super, super tight. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and finish up the vlog. What is up, you guys? So today is April 9th, exactly one month and like two days since my surgery. I think the last time I vlogged was at like the end of week one or week one and a half or something. And then I kind of just like stopped vlogging. Um, so I kind of just wanted to explain the progression from like week one and a half to now. So I got cleared at week two. I went to my doctor. He took out the sutra, sutro, sutures, sutures. I think that's how you say it. Um, he said everything was healing perfectly. We're barely starting to round out and like drop the tiniest bit by week two. Um, and at the consultation, he cleared me to exercise. Um, he basically said I can get back into weight training, just take my time with it. So once I got back home, that was on Thursday, I came back home on a Friday and I tried to do cardio on Saturday. And oh my gosh, you guys, it was a wreck. I did 20 minutes on a treadmill and I was like out of breath, like wheezing and dying like I was running three miles. Like it was insane how out of shape I felt. So I did cardio Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and then I started having the worst pain on my upper left side of my chest. Like it literally felt like I was having a heart attack. I started freaking out. I started to feel that pain Sunday and my doctor's office was closed. So I didn't do cardio. I woke, I, I was like freaking out. Mind you, I wasn't on any medication. I stopped taking the medication at about seven days because that's when I started like driving again. So I didn't want, well, you can't be on any meds. So I didn't take any meds. Um, so I was like med free. I started having this awful, awful pain and that was day 16. So Monday morning comes, I call his office right when they open at nine. Um, I leave a message because he's in surgery. He calls me right, right when he gets out of surgery. 
and I explained like what I'm feeling. Um, it was basically like anytime I took a deep breath, it was like this shooting pain. Like I can't even explain it. Like I swear to you guys, I was almost gonna go to the ER because I thought I was having a heart attack. A part of it was me being dramatic, but I mean, I feel like me just having pains in my chest, I was like, oh my God, that's it, I'm gonna die. Like it's done. But I explained everything to him and he said because I had no other symptoms, like I didn't have a fever, I didn't have, you know, pain anywhere else. Um, no nausea, like I had no other symptoms. So he basically said I was having a muscle spasm, which was totally normal. Um, so he said, take the muscle relaxers, take ibuprofen and see if that helps. So Monday I took the re muscle relaxers and the ibuprofen again, and it completely went away. Um, so I definitely wanted to include that in the vlog because I want you guys to know if you are having any chest pains, definitely call your doctor to make sure it's nothing serious, but muscle spasms are normal and it was honestly terrifying. Um, so after I took the muscle relaxers and I kind of just rested Monday, I got back into cardio and I did cardio for like a week and a half because my endurance, my stamina, everything was so low. Like the first week of cardio, getting 30 minutes done on an elliptical killed me. So I kind of built my endurance back up and then I got back into weight training at, I think it was like day 19. So it was almost four, it was almost four weeks before I did a body weight lower body workout and you guys, I was dripping sweat. Like it is so crazy how fast your endurance can go back down if you're out of the gym for like three weeks to a month. So I did a lower body workout and it went pretty smooth. And then on day 21, or not day 21, on day 31, I did a light shoulder workout and it wasn't too bad. I like when I did shoulder press, I did feel like a little tiny bit of discomfort, like no pain, nothing like that. Um, it was just like, it just felt awkward because I haven't like moved my arms in that way in so long. So it did feel a little awkward. I only used five pound dumbbells. I didn't go any heavier than that. Um, so I did my entire shoulder workout with five pound dumbbells. And then I did try to do rows with literally five pound dumbbells and it felt so weird because obviously when you're like rowing, you have to like flex your back. So you're like pulling your chest back and that felt so weird. Like I still, today's like day 33. So that was like two days ago. And I think just getting back into back, back exercises is going to be the thing that I like struggle with most because it just feels so uncomfortable. But everyone else that I talked to who had a breast augmentation also said that back was the most awkward feeling once they got back into it. The girls I follow said lat pull downs felt weird for like three weeks. So I'm honestly not looking forward to that. But as far as like leg day, I'm fine to do it. And I'm so thankful because you guys know legs is my favorite. So kind of week one and a half to week three I kind of just got cleared for cardio um got back into normal life I'm trying to think if there's like I honestly you guys can tell from the vlog I was extremely sleepy extremely like uncomfortable I had a lot of discomfort and tightness but I wouldn't say this aug this breast augmentation was like super painful I honestly think the worst part was when I thought I could stop taking meds and I woke up in the middle of the night on day five like feeling everything that was like when I felt the most pain sorry guys my lash is like sticking to my bottom lash I don't know what's going on there but as far as pain that was like the worst pain I felt and other than that it was just like a lot of tightness and discomfort so like if you're trying to pull your hair back you know you're pulling right here and it just feels so tight so you literally have to like drop your head to put your hair back um or like washing your hair is really like uncomfortable so it, it was just stuff like that so i would say for this entire process like the first two weeks my pain level was at like a four or five and then after like day 10 honestly there was really no pain so what else what else do i need to talk about oh another thing that i did want to talk about or you know what let's get into size because i know so many of you guys want to know what size i got so i'm going to show you the girls i'm looking real crusty right now um, so I went with 470 cc and I freaking love them. So I got, I got high profile round silicone gel. Oh my God, my lash is like sticking to my eye and I'm looking crazy. Um, I'm about to rip this lash off. Okay. Um, silicone. I think I have to take off this lash not cooperating 
silicone gel implants and I went with gel and they are a little more expensive I'll talk about price right now but they are the most natural feeling and I feel like they have the best natural look like I looked at so many different like before and afters and the droop is what I wanted the most um, and they have like the best natural looking droop um, so I'm gonna be so real and this is something no one told me about really um I had I don't even know if this is the right term but I had major body dysmorphia the first like two three weeks and what I mean by that is like they're so swollen and big and I was an A cup before this like I literally had nothing so I was so used to being like really small and petite on top and just feeling really tiny on top to having these huge big things on my chest and I felt really 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 big like I looked in the mirror and I'm not even gonna lie I think I don't know if I vlogged it but I think on like day four no it was like day three or four I cried just like right before I got in the shower because I was like what did I do to my body like this was the worst decision I was okay with my small boobs like why did I do this and Again, I'm dramatic, so I don't know if you guys are gonna experience that, but I did wanna tell you guys, it is so normal to like freak out and hate them right away. My body dysmorphia was so real. I felt so big on top. Every time I looked in the mirror, I wanted to cry. Like I literally avoided the mirror. Like I would like take off my bra and just like run in the shower. Like I didn't even wanna look in the mirror because they just were so high and so big and so swollen. And they weren't even big in a good way. They were just like boxy and bulging and big. and. I don't know if I took a picture, but if I did, I'll include it right here of like how square they look. Um, and it just was like not a good, a good feeling at all. So I just wanted to mention that in this vlog. Um, so next let's talk about pricing. So my doctor, I went to Dr. Kyle Song at so, I think on Instagram, it's so, SoCo Plastic Surgery. And I paid 7,500 in total for my entire surgery. So I paid $100 for the consultation, which goes tor towards your surgery if you book. Um, I'm not sure if you lose it if you don't book. I honestly don't know because I ended up going with him. So I paid $100 for my consultation. And then to book my surgery day, I had to pay 400. And then the rest is due at your pre-op. So your pre-op is usually about two weeks or sooner um, to your appointment. So mine was about two weeks out and then you have to pay the rest of the seven seven thousand um, They do offer financing, which is awesome. So it was seventy five hundred dollars It is a little more pricey because gel I think um, Gummy bear gel. That's what they're called. It's about three thousand more than like regular silicone or saline to me that extra two or three thousand was worth it because they do last up to 20 years or 25 years so instead of having to go get your breast redone every 10 years with gummy bear implants you only have to go every 20 to 25 years and um i completely forgot what it was but it was something like if if there's a hole in it it's like a gel so nothing leaks into your body it is harder to tell if like one has a hole in them so i know every three to five years you have to go get like a mammogram um, but again, I'd rather go do that than have to get surgery and go through this every 10 years. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, let me mention this. So I talked about the pain and the discomfort, but for me, the absolute worst part was laying around for two weeks. The first week I was sleeping a lot, so it wasn't too bad, but oh my God, the sec, like the week one leading into week two, you're kind of coming off the meds. You don't need them as much, but you still don't have any upper body strength. You can't lift anything. You can't clean, like you can't do anything but lay there. And I don't know if I have ADD or something, but I cannot just sit and watch Netflix shows. Like I go crazy, like I get so bored. So that was the worst part for me. Just. I'm someone who, even though I like being home, I'm always like doing something or I enjoy like going out for a couple hours and like hitting the gym and running my errands and stuff. So being home and doing nothing was misery. Like that was the worst part of it all. So I definitely wanted to mention that. Um, what else? I have like a little notebook thing of everything I wanted to talk about. Oh, I wanted to, I'm going to link everything down below of everything I recommend you getting. Number one thing is stool softener. The medications are going to back you up and make you not be able to poop and TMI, but you are going to be best friends with your stool softener. I used them for about the first five, six days and then I didn't really need them. Um, so for sure get stool softener. Also, you're going to be extremely bloated. It is month. It is month one and my bloating has completely gone down 
barely two days ago. So I, I think that contributed to my body dysmorphia because I was like swollen as if I was pregnant and I couldn't even suck it in because you can't really flex your muscles right here because it hurts your boobs. So I was just in so much discomfort with boobs and the bloating. So just know you're gonna be extremely bloated. Um, so the recommendations I have, comfy clothes. Like invest in like a lot of like zipper, zipper sweaters. I don't know if I vlogged them, but I got two, a gray and a black one. They're like little cropped oversized hoodies that zip in the front. I got them from OOTD Fash. You can also find them on Amazon. I'll try to find similar ones because I know OOTD is always sold out. So I'll try to find similar ones and link them down below. Um, these are not flattering, but I lived, I got a blue one and a gray one. And they're the little nightgowns that I'm wearing in the vlog and it buttons in the front. I got them on Amazon and I lived in them. They were so comfy. And I liked that it was a dress because when I went to the bathroom, I didn't have to like, I didn't have to like use any strength to pull anything down. I kind of just lift it up, pull down my endies and like use the restroom. Cause even pulling down your underwear, like the first week hurts. Um, also, if you're traveling, I recommend getting a neck pillow. I freaking ripped mine already. Um, I got this one off Amazon. Um, what other recommendations did I have? Oh wait, okay, I'm gonna include these pictures right here. Oh my God, this is like not in the greatest order, you guys, I'm sorry. But I did take pictures of my scars for you guys because I know so many people wanted to know. So this was week two of what my scars look like. I'm gonna include a little picture. I don't know if it's a good picture, but you can see it's like a little slit. Um, the doctor did give me like this scar cream to use two times a day. So I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram um, for how it's working and how my scars are going. But honestly, you guys, I love my boobs. You guys know, I've said in so many of my other videos, I am so short, I'm five feet, I had no boobs, and I forever felt like I looked like I was 16. Like, I did not feel like a woman. And now that my boobs have dropped, and they're looking like boobs, like, I swear, you guys, my confidence went from like a six to like a 50. Like, I literally feel like a grown woman now. Like, I feel like I'm like part of the grown and sexy team. <laughs> like, I am just so happy that I finally did this. Also, you guys, this lash is sticking. So if I look crazy throughout this video, don't even mind it. I keep trying to pull it, but it's just not cooperating. But I am just so glad that I finally did this. Oh, oh my God, you guys, I keep forgetting everything. Also, one of my biggest recommendations because when you come out of surgery, you're in that ugly and comfortable black bra, but at two weeks you get cleared to wear like more comfortable bras that don't have underwires. So I got this Fruit of the Loom one. It's a two pack. I got it in nude and black. I think the black one's washing right now. And they're so comfortable. They're so stretchy. Um, the way I picked the size, this one is a 36. It doesn't have like a cup size. It just kind of has like a band size. So the doctor sent me home in a bra and it was measured at a 36. So I just ordered these ones in a 36 and I have been living in them. Um, they button in the front, the straps a little thinner and they give good support, but they're also extremely stretchy. So I highly, highly, highly recommend these bras like a thousand percent. I'm for sure going to link everything down below. Um, they're fruit of the loom. I don't know the rest of the name. I just know they're fruit of the loom bras, but they are everything. I highly recommend them. But yeah, back to what I was saying, you guys, sorry, I interrupted myself like 50 times this video, but I'm so glad I got them. Like at first I was like, what did I do to myself? I ruined myself, what the fudge? But now I'm like, yes, sis, kill it. Only fans coming soon, just kidding. I love them, I am so glad I got them. Like I get to experience the next 50 years of my life, hopefully 50 years with titties, which I've dreamt about having, like I said, since I was like 14. So I'm just glad I did it. Um, Again, if you guys have any other questions, DM me. I am open about everything, my entire experience, what size, everything. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention. I'm sorry, you guys, this is just like out of order. Um, I did not need a lift. And I wanna say there are so many women who are embarrassed at the fact that they need a lift with their breast implants. And I just wanna say it is okay, sis. Like I honestly was like, oh, maybe I'll need a lift because I lost weight and I didn't have as much volume, but Thankfully I didn't, and I say thankfully because it is like one or two more thousand if you do need a lift, so I was just happy I didn't. Um, but if you do need a lift, it's okay. Like literally you're getting bo your boobs done. Don't be embarrassed like about having to get a lift or anything. Um, Cause I did get that question since I lost weight if I needed a lift, and again, I didn't. And I did get 470 cc's in both boobs. And let me just say, 
ev like cc's are different in everyone's body i didn't have too much tissue i was an a cup so 470 cc's on me are probably going to be a d i honestly wish i would have went a little bigger now that they're the swelling has went down and they're settling i wanted a double d but it's okay i have a d and i'm just thankful to have boobs um you never really know what cup size you're going to be like based on cc's like you can have an idea but you won't know until about month six on what cup size you are so people are asking like oh what cup size are you and i'm like honestly i have no idea like i just know i'm 470 cc i know that they look good and month six i'll know what cup size so that again i'm gonna say this one more time if you have any other questions anything else that i didn't cover in this vlog please feel free to dm me um, I'll write my doctor's name down below if you're interested in him. If you schedule a consultation with him, make sure you mention my name so he knows I sent you. This is not sponsored or anything. Like, I paid for my surgery. I picked my doctor. I just want you guys to let him know I sent you so he knows. But, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm trying to think. Like, I want to give you guys all the information, all the tea. It was definitely a rough ride. Like, now that it's a month, I'm like, feeling back to myself especially now that I'm back in the gym but the first two weeks are a rough ride so just be prepared for that but yeah I think that's about it so I'm like really trying to think if I covered everything oh another thing I forgot to mention let me get it together I shopped for clothes if you follow me on Instagram you know this I shopped for clothes at about week two and I, I was an extra small in tops before this because again, I had no boobs. And so I thought, oh, I'll be a small in clothes. I ordered literally so much stuff from White Fox Boutique and I got all smalls in the tops and nothing fit me. And they're from Australia. So to ship back, it was gonna be like $193. Crazy. So I ended up just giving all the clothes to my sister. But my biggest piece of advice, do not shop until like month or until like week five or six because you're not gonna know what size you are. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be like a medium, maybe a large and some tops, I have no idea. I kind of stopped shopping. Um, I just bought bathing suits from Sheen, which was a disaster, I kept two. And I'm a medium in some tops and then a medium in other tops did not fit. So again, I think it just depends on the piece of clothing, but I will say hold off on shopping until, if you can, till month two. But if you're, if you're like desperate for clothes, I would say at least wait till week six. Um, so again, huge piece of advice. I wish someone would have told me that because no one mentioned it to me and I was out there shopping, spending hella money, super excited to get new tops and just didn't work out for me. So I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up. I just wanna say thank you so much if you watched this entire vlog. I'm sorry my lash is like sticking to my freaking inner corner of my eye. I'm looking real crazy, but I think that's it you guys. Oh my God, this fucking lash. It's going to drive me crazy. Okay, so thank you guys so much again for the 1500th time. If you have any questions, DM me on my page, underscore Ash Madison, and I will answer any questions you guys have. If you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. And thank you guys again for watching this vlog.